No doubt. All right. So up first, we're going to do the New York Giants, the G-Men, led by fearless leader Daniel Jones. Um, maybe. I mean, he, I don't know. He's fearless I mean, when he scrambles. I've heard Tyra. T- I, did, I literally heard Tyra Taylor is running with the ones today or yesterday. I'm pretty it's sure good. I read that. It, there's not enough. <laughs> Nick, I hate to correct you, but I, yeah, I was going to say, I, I hate to correct you, but his name is now Tarod, not Oh, Tarod. Tarod. You should I put say some re- put some respect on. I'm sorry. Tarod. Yeah. I mean, especially since he, I mean, got, you know, he's only a backup quarterback because uh, a doctor oh, so. stabbed him in the fucking <laughs> l- lung as a Brown. <laughs> Yeah. You know, no, it's a charger. It's a charger. Yeah, a, that's, how oh, that's, right. oh. his, yeah that's how Justin that's, Herbert. Yeah, that's how Justin Herbert. That's the, the Great that's White right. Hope got his fucking start because they they the right. the league conspired against Tarad and fucking Ugh. jabbed him in the side. And next thing you know, I mean, you know, Justin Herbert has been phenomenal, but like Tarad Taylor got fucked in that situation. Tarad Taylor well, well, took the Bills to the playoffs. That that should mean something to people. I think one thing that gets overlooked about the Tarot Taylor thing is like, what were they trying to do? <laughs> like, were they, about, like, what were, like, like, what were the they? Shoot, what were they shooting him up with before the he fucking had game? a cracked rib, and so they're just trying to give right. him some uh, something to numb it up pregame. But the thing is, like the tissue between, all? probably. <laughs> but they, but the I mean, come on, like, like that's what I'm asking. It's like, like what? There's going such on? a slim margin of error when you're putting an injection in that. That yeah, they punctured the lung because there's if you go between the ribs, there's not much else between the lung and that. So they yeah. fucked up. Okay, yeah, I no. can. He just sneezed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Exactly. A yeah, chew. And... So what do you guys so... think about Daniel Jones as a starting quarterback this year? I mean, do you think it's it's he's Boy. a career backup after this if he doesn't pull it off? Yeah. I mean, so I, I think hope this he runs. Is a, more. Yeah. I do think this is a big year for him. So they were four and 13 last year. So they finished last in the division last year. So they were not, they are obviously not good last year. I don't even think they were, I'm trying to think what they were in the, in the division. They were one and five in the division. So they were just atrocious all around. Was he hurt a little bit last year or, or was he, Uh, something tells me he didn't play all 16 games regardless. He doesn't, he, he did not look good. Now, Daniel Jones has had flashes where, you know, you're like, okay, here it is. You know, this is, He's finally got it on the right page. He's, he, I mean, he's got the weapons. You know, he's got everything at his disposal. Um, and, and then, then the other next times week, he trips yeah. over his <laughs> own fucking feet, running a fucking ninety yard yeah. bomb to the house. And Dude, it's just falls so sad. Feet. You're just like, what the fuck is going on here? Now, this year, new head coach Brian DeBull. You know, I think that's that's a big step. You finally get what's his face out of there, um, Mike I Lennon. Forget, uh, who was their head coach before was, this? It was just just absolute garbage. Um, but you know, say finally, Joe Judge, but it's not Joe Judge. A, a new system. Joe Judge is the Yankees. Yeah, it was Joe Judge. Is it Joe Judge? Year, yeah, it was Joe Judge last year. Mm. So, new system. You know, but it, which is apparently more offensively minded. Like I've I've heard, you know, Saquon looks really good. I've heard the team looks, you know, Kenny Galladay's kind of you know back healthy. Kadarius Tony, you know, they've got weapons, but Daniel Jones, I, I would definitely say this is a make or break for him. Um, especially when he's got <laughs> Terod Taylor breathing down his neck. Um, is, you want to get the ball to Saquon, but you also want to get the ball out too. Kadarius Tony didn't score, he, he didn't catch a single touchdown pass last year. Yeah, that's and, yeah, that's wild. That crazy. I mean, and, Kenny Ga- and Kenny Galladay, when he, he didn't play much, but when he did play, he did not look good. And obviously, yeah. a lot of that's probably the on the guy throwing him the ball, but also there has to be something to say when that guy is, he, he had signed that huge deal and hasn't even put up 50 receptions since then. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I, I think this is a, this, this is a big season for Kenny Galladay. Cause like, you know, you, we saw him, what he can do in Detroit. I mean, the guy is, he's talented. I mean, they used to call him baby Tron, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the guy, absolutely. like, I mean, the guy literally, you know, you saw shades of Megatron in him. Like he is, but he so also good. had he also had Matt Stafford throwing him the ball. You know, right, right. Re- so and I, know, I think that goes more with what you were just saying. So right. right. So I think that this is you know it's time for him to show like you know you got the money, you got paid, you you've got a fully healthy offense for the most. I mean, I know Kadarius is a little banged up. You're seeing a lot of red cues on here. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. not a full offense, but a lot of these well, are back. Sterling Shepard's never been healthy a day in his life. That's true. Um, I've heard Gary Slade was maybe going to get cut. Yeah, I've heard like that I heard as him well. As one of the possible, which is uh, crazy. Casualties. Talk about a fall from. 
Yeah, I've heard the I've, yeah. and he would be on the Browns radar. I've heard that, by the way. Uh, and I, I don't love the thing with Kenny Galladay is I really can anybody remember a signing that went as poorly as that? I mean, seriously, it's it's been a while since I've seen a player that had such a pedigree that he had uh, built up at, in, in Detroit go to a new team and, and disappear. I mean, sincerely, aside yeah. from Albert Hainsworth, that's actually a great Ooh. one. That's, that's, that's a good call out. But I wouldn't say that Kenny Galladay's uh, lazy Albert like Hainsworth was. was. Yeah, true, shit. true. Yeah. He, Different but reasons. he has disappeared. Yeah, Albert yeah. Hainsworth just didn't give a fuck. I, I was going to say David Johnson, but he was already tailing off before that DeAndre Hopkins right. trade. You know, That is uh, still think, one of the wildest trades, by the way. I yeah, still can't that, believe that. I still cannot fucking believe that happened. B.O.B. made the worst <laughs> trade in fucking history with that. Um, I think another thing that you got to kind of – I mean, not that he was a really a big difference maker last year, but not having uh, what's his name, Evan Ingram, you know, at tight end, and you're looking at a, a really thin tight end group right here. I like Ricky well. Seals Jones though. Yeah, but yeah. also, how much like are you gonna really ever give you a run two tight end sets? No, are you ever going to you know? Ricky Seals Jones isn't a world breaker either. He's not like gonna be a guy who's gonna be changing the offensive scheme and you're going to have to plan around him. He's Ricky Seals Jones. Yeah. Cause the thing with Evan Ingram was, is like, even no matter how much he got like, kind of joned on about for the drops and kind of clowned about not living up to the potential or the hype and always kind of being a letdown, you always had to game plan for him because you knew he's that athletic, like, dude. He, he's athletic, he's talented. I mean, he's, he's yeah. Evan Ingram is a, is the perfect example of a tight end that has literally has all of the weapons and tools to be a top five, 10, tight if he wanted to like if he could just if he could put everything together and Evan Ingram could play the best Evan Ingram football every week I think he could be a t easily a top 10 tight end you know and and I think just have uh, trouble with drops man there with, with the drafts but you know now it's like you don't even really have to I mean you're coming in here going you know you're worried about the receivers because you know because regardless even if Sterling Shepard is not fully healthy I mean if he's on the field this is a nice receiver core you know yeah. but, but outside yeah, of the sure. receiver core and Saquon Barkley like you're not really worried about the tight ends here and if Ricky Seals Jones is your number two and that's the tight end you have to worry about like I'm not that worried yeah so, and okay. I think I think Juan Dale Robinson too is a guy out of training camp who's been making a lot of noise. I mean, it's I think it's crazy to see him on the depth chart as the wide receiver three, and he's a rookie. And I'm pretty sure he was like a fifth rounder, or 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 no, he was a, he was the second rounder, I think actually. He was a second rounder last. Yeah, year. I forget about Juan Dale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but they've been talking about him in camp and saying that he's been not only uh, catching balls, but he's been running out of the backfield, kind of doing like a Debo Samuel type role. So, it'll be interesting to see how big of a part of the offense he is. Because, I mean, I think the reason why they would probably try to do some kind of playmaker guy like that is to emulate something in case Saquon goes down. They can kind of maybe slot him into some of those plays and you know try to keep mm -hmm. keep what's going to be sell i mean you don't know what's going to happen with saquon this year i mean he's right. he's like well, he's like christian mccaffrey agree. he's like christian mccaffrey you you lucky to get 17 games out of him right. this year and even even more so i mean you know we've gotten 17 yeah. games out of christian mccaffrey probably more than we have saquon you know, i don't think like saquon's it's... actually played a full uh i took the back he might have played a full season his rookie year but um I, that's the problem with this offense i think is that what are you going to do to beat them? Well, you're going to stack the box, put eight down in there, and you're going to say, okay, 18th best offensive line. Um, you can either <laughs> try yeah. to protect your quarterback while we rush your, you know, rush Daniel Jones around in a circle, um, or you can give it to Saquon and let let him get eaten because – Yeah, um, I mean, you're definitely going to make Daniel Jones beat you. I mean, that's absolutely. that's 100% that's the way, you know. I, mean, I hope it, Daniel Jones uses his legs more this year. I do he, too. He's athletic. Let him move around the pocket. Let him escape out the pocket. Let him run a bootleg. Let's do. I want to yeah. see more of that out of him. Just Shit's a couple going. designed runs does wonders for keeping the defense honest. Um, e True. Even if your quarterback's like not actually fast or, or not actually a speedster, you can tell when those defensive ends kind of can't just like pin their ears back and go because uh, the guy would be careful to uh, you know kind of contain the quarterback on the backside. Yeah, Daniel Jones though is one hit stick away from from fucking being yeah. Cole McCoy. So. <laughs> Um, I think the difference yeah. with Daniel Jones running is like if he's running and it's like, yeah, we're winning and it's good. Like 
that's good. But if you're relying on Daniel Jones to run the ball for your off in order for your offense to succeed, then you're in fucking right. big, big trouble. Yeah, I, I mean, he, he's, he's not Lamar. Lamar in trouble. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> he's definitely not Lamar, right? You he's not, not Josh you Allen on this one. Uh, you're not, you know, I, not a lot of designed runs, but I, I was thinking specifically what Stu said about, um, you know, the the, the keeper, the the kind of you know peel out. Red zone bootlegs. Let's do it. What I'm saying. Fake. Um, well, so the offense is pretty ugly, but um, I guess we should just go to the other side of the ball real quick. We don't. We probably don't have to stay that long. Well, we do. I mean, we got to mention T- uh, Kayvon Thibodeau. I mean, you know, uh, top th- what three pick was he? The second pick this year, right? I think three. Second, I thought three. I think he was third. You know, so you know, first round pick this year. A lot of hype coming around him. I've heard he actually looks pretty good. Um. I don't think he looks as good, you know, as maybe Aiden. Well, he's a linebacker, but, you know, Aiden Hudson looks like a savage coming out of that game that the other night that preseason game was gross. Uh, but, you know, Blake Martinez, he's not bad, but, you know, Dory Jackson's not a bad. Um, he's a fifth pick. I'm sorry. Get, yeah. Um, yeah. Dory but, Jackson, former, former Titan. He, he's former pretty Titan. Solid. Yeah. Xavier McKinney know, is the, Xavier, Xavier McKinney, McKinney is the only, uh, those are the only four guys I really recognize in that defense, like who I would consider like, people you would need to know about yeah um and so that kind of leaves a lot of empty spaces in this defense that's probably gonna get exploited pretty hard um uh it's just i remember reading is that Kayvon looked good in camp but he the the first uh preseason performance was a little underwhelming Not he only good. played two series then <clears throat> So, um, okay. But know. he probably played against some ones. So that probably is the, that's maybe a little telly. Yeah. Maybe he's got maybe the rookie. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. So I think it's hard for a lot and just wreaking havoc. Exactly. I think it's hard too for like a rookie linebacker in a preseason game too. Cause like you don't want to be fucking hitting guys like, you know, risking risking your rookie season for sure. So I think you would definitely, I, I, at least if you account for the human element, you got to imagine that he was going to be somewhat timid in that first game. Yeah. I I I think, um, what I was going to say on, I know I'm the only one that brings up the special teams, but I'm interested to see if Jamie Gillen, uh, the Scottish hammer rebounds in New York. Oh, yeah, dude. I hope he does. He's a good dude. But from, from the stories that I've heard, he partied a little too hard during the season. He was <laughs> out, he was out late hitting the bars, hitting the clubs. He's a Scott. He likes to drink. So I heard that that really affected his performance when he was in Cleveland. I, um, Interesting. And spe- speaking of punters, I know we talked about the Bills last week. Did you guys see that fucking Bills punter had an eighty-yard fucking Dude, punt? Eight, ridiculous! In eighty-yard boot. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fucking insane. I did see that. That's now, crazy. Thirty-one, did, like, thirty-one teams passed on that guy, and he made it to the sixth round. Like, holy shit! Like that. that, that, uh, that you can you can flip the field on people. Like, I want to know. Yeah. So speaking of special teams, like a little, I know, I know we already kind of we we talked. Did we talk about the Chiefs already? Have we done the Chiefs division already? No, no we haven't done the Chiefs. But uh, I, how do you think their kicker feels? Like uh, Justin Reed's out here fucking punting sixty-five yard field goals in in, in practice, and he's out here kicking extra points. Like one of these days, they're going to be like Harry. Harry Butts, yeah, you know. We're going to save a little bit of yeah. money. We're going to save uh, a little money, but our fucking safety can kick 65 yards. So uh, right now, Harry is updating his LinkedIn. Wasn't Harry, yeah, no he shit. was interviewed, and he said that, you know, when his defensive playing career, you know, when he slows up and he just can't quite keep up on the uh, on the ball, he said that he's like, I, I will try to extend my career another four or five years and just switch to kicking full time. And I was it's like, well, shit, move, you got the dude. leg wow. for it. But you yeah. you might really be able to like hash out a sweet career that way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's Honestly. a great emergency backup too. Yeah, yeah I mean that's sure. what I'm saying. Like it's one of those. Yeah, if you don't have a kick, I mean, we, and we've seen like teams get caught in that position where like they don't, you know, like a cold kicker or somebody gets hurt and they're like going for two all the time or they're not. They're just scared the to t- rush a kicker out there. You I know? mean, look, look at the Titans last year or before they got you know before they got their guy. It was like a carousel of like five different kickers in like six different weeks. You know. Yeah, it, it, you know, mm-hmm. before they got Fat Randy in Tennessee, it was just like, 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 I think they went through four kickers just like trying them out. It's just because you have no backups. Let's go through the schedule, boys. Let's, say, let's, let's, hit try, the let's try to map man. out. Let's try to hop out like, or let's try to map out a fucking winning. Uh oh. Oh well. Guys. Okay. Well, loss week one, right? <laughs> Miguel week one. 
Yeah. I don't know. That's not that's on 9 11, dude. Oh, I yeah. Mean, we talked about this. They might come yeah, for that. Right. Yeah, they might come for that. That's what I'm scared about. And every national national world, world, dude, they just they just fucking <laughs> blow the doors <laughs> off Tennessee. Danny Jones just fucking 300 two, yards. Two, Saquon three got 200. Yeah, two through the air, one on the one with his legs. <laughs> no yeah, no we'll, have, we'll have to um, see. I think that. I think that Titans pass rush is going to be way too good for them to handle, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Simmons, right? Best best player of all time, right? S- Simmons is... Uh, no, would you say best defensive player? Best defensive tackle in the NFL right. right now. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> He, they did. They did have. They did have him on the NFL top 100, but it was uh, 54. But that's pretty good for a DN. Yeah. Um, this is so a four, four, four and team, thirteen, dude. right? Four and thirteen. So, I think they're still... three and five at the bye week. I think they can beat Carolina. I think they. Well, I think they. I think they're going to lose to Carolina, but I think they can beat Chicago, Jacksonville, and Seattle. But Jacksonville is an iffy one for me too. Yeah. So there are two or three wins. Before the before the buy for me, because uh, I do think they lose to Tennessee, they probably knew, lose to Carolina, they lose to Dallas, they lose to Green Bay, Baltimore, maybe Jacksonville. I think Chicago and Seattle. I'm, I, I I'll get. I, I think two. Jacksonville's going. Uh, n- or what? 50, oh yeah, 50, Jackson, like Jackie's Houston. hitting nine. It, it, nine yeah, dubs. It, yeah, if they're hitting nine, then they're losing that game to them. Oh, uh, we'll give them Houston. Eh, I don't know. Houston's got. Da- I mean, Houston. I think they are going to be competitive in as far as like um offensively in games like i do think they're getting fucking sucked this year general probably mills getting, baby but i do think that like you know general giants, mills I yeah dude it. come it's on so good <laughs> so let's just for the sake of it let's give the john i'll give a giants the dub here so we'll give them three uh, they're losing to detroit detroit's gonna I, I watched the first episode of hard knocks which we'll get into later uh episode two is tonight fucking them boys are ready i mean uh mm-hmm. i think we shared it on our instagram page but that like the when, uh, Stuart, when you watch episode one when you get to the court where he's like i don't care if you have three ass cheeks and one leg or whatever the fuck <laughs> he's like he's like i'll fucking kill you <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they're like god damn dan which i didn't realize he was actually a candidate for the browns when stefanski was up and boy i, I kind of wish we would have went with dan Cam- i love kevin stefanski but boy imagine dan campbell getting in some asses with the browns yeah it'd be such a good fit for the city of cleveland oh, but God. Whatever. regardless if if the giants do win a single divisional game this year it might be they might pull off one against like washington i agree with that this is a three four this is a four win team it's last year they're they're they have not made enough moves for them to move the needle so one just quick glance, uh, ticket prices. One of these things is not Dude, like already the pointed other. out. Yeah, yeah, man, right here. Four hundred and six dollars to get a ticket to go watch the Green Bay Packers smash New York in the Meadowlands. Well, it's at nine thirty a.m. I think that's across the. I'm pretty sure that's. Oh, is that? Is that? Is that sure England? That's probably, yeah, that's an England game. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Holy shit! Yeah, three or four wins. That's that's where I'm at with you guys. And yeah, Jack, Detroit has the cheapest tickets, $29. You can see it in New York. I'd rather watch that than them play uh, Chicago. Yeah, I would too. What? Detroit? I'd rather watch Detroit play mm-hmm. New York than watch uh, New York play Chicago. Assuming Swift Selfie. Yeah. I hate that. Lions are, dude, Lions are money this year. I, I can't wait to talk fuck. about the Lions, actually. For talk sure. About some hot takes to set up. Oh, you gonna you got you got some fucking hot takes in the Lions. Just saying. Andrew. Well, they were three and thirteen last year. Well, okay, three and thirteen. Well, and yeah, they're gonna. I I I give you that. They're gonna win more than three fucking games. But like, I can't wait to hear some hot takes here. They look good. Like I said, Danny <laughs> Campbell's in some asses. And yeah. Kevin, I'm a little. I'm I'm looking at you now because I didn't know that he was a. I didn't know he was a fucking candidate. And the whole time I'm watching the first episode, I'm like, could you imagine this guy, like just yeah. fucking. Oh God! 